YouTube and welcome to this video of my crash team racing nitro fueled walkthrough part number 11 in the last episode I had uh, finished off all of the uh, final area and uh, today we're going to start off a time rack on a new map that's brought into a French mode so this will be fun so um, after this we are going to go and do our first tournament and we're going to win the episode there anyway so it's going to be fun Right, here we are, and hopefully we can do it easy enough. There's 45 uh, boxes, so it's not too bad. This map's so cool, very cool. They are tricky at the same time. Though. Hopefully we can get all the boxes, it'd be nice, and get a nice little pack run. Oh, we missed it. We almost got it. I like this map because it's like lots of bends and it's really good to uh, practice uh, your drifting and that. Got that one at least. Need to speed it up a bit actually. Sometimes having to get all the boxes really slows you down. Oh come on, we can't miss all the boxes. We'll see what we We'll see how close we are to the next lap and whether we go and waste some time by trying to get up the boxes that we've missed. Let's see if we, can, we need to do this quicker as well. This is where. We've missed that again. Oh, we've got no chance now, but we just need to uh, go around this uh, track really quick. We can at least, I think we can get, at least get gold there. It's another 4 seconds there as well. I've got around these uh, grass corners to so feel like it's quicker. So we've got about a minute to get the relic. Do we want to try and do this in about 30 seconds then with the time boxes? It's just going to be quite tricky. Well, I reckon we can do it. Because now we're going to get that free. Oh no, we're not because we jumped over it. That's the name. So yeah, with the tournaments, literally you get four races on the tournament and then you get the gem if you win it. But I love the tournaments. So I'm looking forward to doing them. How far are we? Oh no, I don't think we got this uh, gold relic. Come on, we've missed the... Uh, Three seconds now. Please, we're almost there. Please, we're so close. Oh, we got Platman. Nice. I was not expecting to get Platman. Well, we can't complain at that. I'm really happy with that. That's our second Platman of the walkthrough as well. I'm so happy. That was a complete uh, shock to me. So, uh... When we come back, we are going to start off our first uh, tournament. I'll just show uh, what tournament we have decided to go first. So I think we're probably going to go in order, so I'm just going to show you. So we are going to start off with the uh, Red Gem uh, Cup. So this be interesting. I'm sure this just, I can't remember fully how these work, so I'm just going to keep on the loaded screen so we can be uh, ready to have a look. Yeah, so which uh, set has uh, four of the maps, which are obviously the races are going to be harder than uh, before and uh, start of the walkthrough. But um, I'm not sure how hard as uh, when I got this far, I did it on a different uh, difficulty set rather than classic. So it's going to be interesting, but hopefully we can uh, bring out a top race and then uh, win them all. On Crash Cove, so I suppose the first one, it just makes sense. So as you're going to be able to tell through this race, they are going to be a lot faster. But we're just going to have to be faster than them. I think because of the first cup, it's not going to be as bad. But they are keeping quite close so far. And we missed, uh, we need to jump down a bit further until we've got that boost. There we go. Nice uh, gap now, as long as we don't get hit, we'll be alright. These are fun doing the little tournaments, so it's nice that we can uh, sit and do all the races again uh, 
after we completed the game. Because the best part is just the races. Nothing beats doing all the races. Look at the gap we have. We can do this a lot faster, so I'm not really happy with this. I know we got that much of a gap, but still, I know we can do that. So I'm disappointed in uh, this way so far. I'm sure there's no way we can uh, overlap somebody. Considering uh, definitely we'll be uh, going up. Just because it's the first uh, map doesn't mean the action will be harder. Come on, get somebody. Oh, we didn't really jump again. Look at the gap. I'm impressed. Get the TNT off. But no, I can overall that was a disappointing uh, performance. That is the first race, so there we go, we got plus, uh, plus 9 in standards. So when everybody finishes out, are going to get the points, so it's going to be interesting. So, four races, we just got to keep getting plus 9, and then we're, uh, we've won it. I suppose we can only, if you win 3, maybe 2, then you've definitely got it. As a fight, I want all the. Um, from the same area. We're now on uh, Blizzard's buff. It's literally cut straight through where um, area 2 and gone to 3, which is quite cool. I like the tunnel as well because they're random races. This is, a, I'm guessing, so there's going to be one tournament that's literally going to have all the uh, long maps in one. We jumped too early then. We're still never getting up. Oh no, now we're in our space. Let's talk again. Three bombs, we don't want three bombs. How did not one of them hit anybody? Aku Aku, please. There we go, nice. Let's go. Let's go. Need to catch up. So it seems like Engine and Dingle Dial are the ones that are uh, gonna be uh, giving us challenges on this one. As I'm noticing, they're getting a lot faster. I know we fell off on that, but we still get. Really? Engine's just properly messed up uh, doing the shortcut now. Now I'm going to trust we can do it. Yes, we did as well. We literally timed that to perfection. Now Engine's not going to catch up. And we've already won this tournament anyway. Even if we don't win here. So I'm going to be happy with that. And I'm... I do like that it starts getting more challenging as well. Oh, I've gone straight into the ball. Please give us the boost. Let's try it anyway. I suppose we're always going to fail that. No! Oh no, this is the final lap. We need to hurry up. That should go. Yep. Game, set and match I believe. Happy with that. There we go, and now we've definitely got our first gem. And we're back with the final race of the tournament, which is on Papu's Pyramid. So this has been a really fun uh, first tournament. I like the mix as well, it's been a really good mix. No! Haha, we stopped it. Me too, we uh, really got our timings better when we stopped it. Because that time we did it right, but normally we were always late. It's gonna be my aim for this uh, race is to get um, a shortcut all uh, three times. That'd be perfect. One hit. Yes, that's the first time. So yeah, I might not be able to complete this challenge uh, this episode, but I am going to uh, give it a couple of attempts uh, for you all to see. And then, if I struggle that much, what I'll do is I'll do all the tournaments and then I'll uh, put all those in one big video. And I'll uh, have to uh, try and do it all. So I'll have to edit out most of the bad attempts, show you a couple. And then when I finally do it. They are frustrating, I don't know why they're so hard. Two out of three, come on, we've got one more to go. If I get this 3 out of 3, I'm honestly going to be happy.
I've got a new controller come today as well. So it feels a lot better to be playing. Let's go again. Right, we've got one more attempt, so let's do it. We was close to uh, overlapping as well. It's literally the best way, the way I've just done it then is to do it that way for the shortcut. And we did the shortcut again, and there we go, we've won it all. So we will be back at the challenge, actually. We need to, uh, we'll be back at the podium. There's us on the podium, getting our um, red gems. That's the first out of five gems, I think. It's either five or six, but uh, we'll be back at the challenge. So here we are. Basically, you have to get all the crystals before the time run out. And I just seem to be absolutely terrible with it. Especially when I miss them stupidly like that. Last time I did this, I was uh, more new to the game now. And this was the only one I could do. But hopefully, now we've played the game a lot more, I can be a, a better at it. Just gotta learn how to. It's about getting the ones like that. It's so not easy. They're literally the hardest part. I'm gonna try and get this one. I don't know how to get that actually. So this is going to be hard. We've almost got that as well. So at least I now know how to get that one. Just need to come back. No, so we failed those third attempts. That's it. We can't, literally can't do that jump for some reason. No, we can do this. Easy can do that. I know how we can do it. Uh, what we need to do to improve now anyway. So yeah, we'll uh, come and try that again. Learn from our mistakes and go again. Right, retry. Now let's do it. So if we stick with the same route. Uh, so we're doing is that what it wasn't uh, the route was good but we've missed that again I'm sure we did that at the start last time actually if I change the routes up a bit now we've missed that one sorry Doesn't matter too much if I miss it. There we go, got this one this time. There we go. Oh, we jumped too late on that. So we got 14 more. There's one up here. One down there. Actually, there's two down there. Oh, we're so close this time. I've literally got three more and I see them all. It's just that the only one that's going to be a struggle is the one up top. But we might be able to do this now. Yes, we did it! Come on! I'm happy with that. So we did that a lot easier than uh, when I uh, last did it. But so I am going to end the episode uh, like that. So we've gone through the turbo track time challenge. Got a first gem and got a first one of the crystal challenges. Anyway, that is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then drop a like. Haven't done so already, then subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Later.